Welcome back to the after credits scene as we count down the 10 best Easter eggs from episode 4 of Hawkeye. Help us get to 100 subscribers before the new year and hit the like and subscribe buttons on this video. Then share this sucker all across the multiverse. Now, on to the eggs. As Kate and Clint are confronted by Jack and Eleanor in her apartment, Jack mistakenly refers to Hawkeye as Archer. This faux pas is more than Jack's lack of mastery over American culture. Archer is not only the name of a mutant with the ability to transform his body into energy and throw projectiles, but it's also another costume character named Wyatt McDonald, who also held the moniker for a while as the Golden Archer. Before that, McDonald suited up under the name Hawkeye. Huh. Later, as Jack is remarking at Kate's ability to hold it together in front of her idol, he remarks that if he ever met Huey Lewis, he wouldn't know what to do. Now, this again may be Jack's French heritage peeking through, or you might think the egg is in the title of one of Huey Lewis's many popular songs, but no. The interesting connection here is that Huey Lewis was diagnosed with Meniere's disease back in 2018. This illness slowly renders someone partially to fully deaf after contracted. It seems perhaps that Marvel is continuing its tradition of throwing recognition towards persons with this particular affliction. Way to go, Marvel. As we see some wide shots of Eleanor's apartment, a particular painting on the wall might catch your eye. Speculation has run rampant with what Eleanor might be up to, with some suggesting she is a villain known as Madame Mask. This painting is a little bit of a stretch, but a faceless woman surrounded by what looks like weaponry wouldn't take a far leap to connect to another faceless woman from a Marvel lore surrounded by weaponry. What do you think? Yeah, me either. Next. Props to the costume department as Kate rocks this direct pull from the Hawkeye comics. This shirt, which says Laika in Russian, also features a dog silhouette inside of a small spaceship. Laika is not only the name of the first dog in space, sent there by the Russians, but Laika is so famous in Russian that the original translation of the word, which was Barker, as in dog, is now synonymous with the particular breed of dog that went into space. So there's that. When Clint and Kate are chatting in their ugly sweaters, Clint can be seen drinking from a Thanos was right mug. This is the second time we've seen this reference after first seeing it scrawled on a urinal in episode 1. It seems that Kate's old aunt is a bit of a conspiracy nut, and this nod is made all the more ironic by having an Avenger calmly sipping his coffee from said mug. As Kate and Clint talk shop, Clint shoots down... <laughs> shoots... You get... Anyway... He laughs off the idea that he should use boomerang arrows. However, perhaps Clint should read his own comics because, in the comics, he actually does use boomerang arrows. Maybe we'll get to see such weirdness before the show wraps up. Who knows? With more shop talk, Hawkeye showcases and then teaches Kate one of his many parlor tricks, that being the ability to flick a coin with such precision that it can knock someone unconscious. This skill, while a little obscure, actually points to Hawkeye's hidden hero abilities to be able to throw and hit things with pinpoint accuracy, not just arrows. Well, I played 18. Shot 18. Later, when the apartment is overrun with LARPers, we meet two of them by name. The first, Orville, is also the name of a little-known villain named Oddball. The second, Wendy Conrad, is also known as Bombshell in the comics, hence the name on her bag. It's also of note that they refer to themselves as more of a guild, since in the comics, both villains are members of a villainous organization called, you guessed it, the Guild. Next, in our big cameo reveal, when Yelena Belova fights Clint, Kate, and Echo on an NYC rooftop, we get several Black Widow connections. First, the Black Widow bracelets with the electric stun bullets makes an appearance. Then, in a throwback to Clint's shot he didn't take against Natasha, Kate is faced with a similar situation with Yelena and chooses not to shoot. Finally, and lesser known, but with all the Daredevil-esque references in the show, you might be surprised to know that for a while, Matt Murdock and Natasha Romanoff were actually an item in the comics, and even have a kid together. I'll stop right there and let you go down that rabbit hole on your own before I nerd out and this becomes a 20-minute video. You're welcome. Last, the mysterious Avengers compound watch makes another appearance. Who this watch belongs to, why it's needed, and what, if anything, it does are still a mystery. Just a reminder that the tag from Auction 268 references a particular Avengers comic that sees several Avengers squaring off against Kang. We're bound to get answers to this mystery before the finale, but it's fun to try and guess who it might belong to. Fury? Laura Barton? 
some unknown character we've yet to meet? What do you think? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below along with anything you think we missed. Then check out some of these other videos too. Thanks for watching and when the next one drops, we'll see you right back here.